In this video, we are going to learn about the observer design pattern and will implement with the help of Java Util package. And in the previous video, whatever we implemented for the observer design pattern. So as part of this video, we will create a copy of the old code and then we will modify. So if you have not watched the earlier video, then please watch it. Link in the description. So let's implement. Here is the package for the observer and we will create a copy of all the classes inside the new package. So let's create a new package and package name let's say util because we are going to modify the old code with the help of the util classes. Okay, as we copied all the classes, now just quickly go through all the code. Start from the observer interface. So this interface contains one method and that is an update and it accepts a parameter for the message. And here is the another interface for the subject and it contains three method declarations for add, remove and notify observers. This is an employee class with three basic parameters and it is implementing the subject interface. So we provide a simple implementation for all three methods. And here are the observer because it is implementing the observer interface and providing the basic implementation for the update method. Similarly, we created one more observer with a similar kind of implementation. And here is the test observer class which contains the main method. So using that we are testing the observer design pattern code. I hope now at least you got some idea about the code which we added as part of the previous video. Now let's see how to upgrade this implementation. So instead of creating our own observer and subject interface, there is an implementation which is already available in the Java util package. First, let's replace the observer interface from the manager and HR class. Here you can see it is suggesting the observer from the util package. So let's choose this one. Now let's implement the update method of the observer interface. So this method signature is a little different. It accepts two parameters like observable and object. Just simply paste both the lines from the old update method. Now let's delete the old update method. Similarly, let's add the changes in the HR class also. Okay, so now we removed our observer interface dependency from the manager and HR class. Okay, so this interface is no longer required now. Don't worry, we'll delete later. Now let's see what can we do about the subject interface. So subject interface we implemented in the employee class. So instead of subject, now let's extend observable class. Now we don't need to provide our own implementation for the add, remove and notify method. So first let's remove the add and remove methods. And for notify, let's copy this message because we are going to use. Now let's remove the notify observers method also. As you can see, even after removing notify observers method, the code is not giving any kind of error because a similar method is available inside the observable class. Let's open the notify observer method implementation. Here you can see from inside this method, it is calling the notify observer method with one parameter. So let's say instead of this method call, let's call the other one. So let's pass the message which we copied. See, it is not giving any compilation error. Now we don't need observer and subject interface. So let's delete. See, now code become very simple. Let's quickly go through all the code. Even here also, you can see the implementation is similar to ours. Only methods are synchronized. And instead of remove, here delete observer method is there. So here let's change the method name. All the changes are done. Let's run this code. Oops, copy paste issue. Change the parameter from args to message. Let's run again. See, it is working, but it is not showing observer messages. And this is the message which is printing. So inside the increment salary method, we need to add one more method call and that is set changed. And that's it. Let's run again. See it is working same as earlier.
Let's check the set changed method implementation and see it is not doing much only it is changing the value for change. I hope now everything is clear for you. Even for notify observers method also they are iterating the observers using the for loop as we implemented earlier. You can explore this code later. I checked in this code. I will show you from where you can find this code. Let's open our GitHub page. See here is the recent commit. Here is the code. I hope you learned something from this video. If yes, then please like, share, comment and subscribe. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.